The Scorpion News is a public forum for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions do not necessarily represent those of the HUSD. I'm Ray Pano. And I'm Melissa Fernandez, and we're your anchors for the last broadcast of 2019. Hey, Tansy, are you a mean one? Of course, because I'm graduating early. Hey. <laughs> well, let's get into this week's trivia. First, I'd like to shout out Mr. Jack's class for winning the most trivias this semester. They are three-time winners. Let's see how they do this week. This week's trivia question is, where does the Grinch live? We'll, be, we'll check back on who won later on in this episode. All right, let's get to these announcements. Attention juniors and seniors, if you took the ASVAB test on November 14th, your test scores are now in. Come to the CCRC room A6 to pick them up. Visit the CCRC for any other questions or assistance with your ASVAB test scores. Seniors, have you submitted your PASVA? If not, you need to be sure to get this done. Come to the CCRC to get started for, or for any help with the process. If you submit on your own, you can send your FAFSA confirmation email to nicole.ball at hesperiausd.org to be entered into the weekly drawing. Hey Scorpions, don't forget, if you need a work permit or help finding a job, work experience is available every Thursday in the library during nutrition break and lunch. Did any of you guys happen to go to the talent show? If not, don't worry. Luckily, Jojo, David, Andin, and Craig went to go get some highlights from the show. Check it out! That was nice. And once again, Mr. Jack's class won this week. <laughs> yeah, y'all are a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Great job, guys. Now on to some club announcements. Are you, are you interested in puzzles and riddles? If so, then be sure to come and check out the new Puzzle Club this Tuesday, December 10th, at lunch in room N7. The Science Club will have meetings every Friday during lunch in room E13. Come one, come all. Our Christian Club on campus, the Light Club, will be meeting every Wednesday in room E10 during lunch. Please come out and see what we're all about. All are welcome. In case you didn't know yet, we have a snowboard club and they meet on the second and fourth Tuesday of the month in room P15 during lunch. Come see what it's all about and what we have in store for this year. Are you good, Tansy? Yeah, I think I got allergies or something. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Alyssa, chill, she oh, just no. sneezed. No, 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 I get sick very easily and all it takes is a sneeze and bam, I'm sick. And I know I'm not the only one like this. So Bernal and Friends made a PSA video for this holiday season. Take a look. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time. Christmas break and I don't want anyone to get me sick. Dude, you're 
not gonna get that sick. Mr. Bernal, do you have a tissue? I'm sorry, Jonathan, I don't have any more tissues. It's okay. Hey, Ray, can you help me pass these up, please? toy growing up as a kid? Uh, WWF action figures. My favorite toy growing up was uh, either my skateboard or my bicycle. Ooh, we got a skater boy. Uh, nice. One thing that I always wanted and I never got the, the, the right ones, I always wanted a remote control car or a remote control plane. I was totally into that and I never got one for Christmas and I think I asked for one every Christmas. You still asked for one every Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, my favorite toys, I would have to say, I'm dating myself, but it would be my Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake collection because they smelled so good and they always smelled exactly like the fruit they represented. Uh, my favorite toy was a Raggedy Ann doll. Uh, she went everywhere with me. Uh, my favorite childhood toy was a teddy bear that I got when I was about six months old. I still have it. Wow. Uh, my favorite toys were G.I. Joe's and wrestlers. Any action figures, basically. So a sentimental toy that I had growing up was a, a stuffed animal about this big. It was a green turtle, and it had uh, little uh, shoes on it, and it had a lightning bolt on it, and its name was Flash. And it also had two little foam circles and a little string on top that looked like it was wearing headphones. It was sentimental because my grandfather also had one. So he had one and I had one. And I actually still have it to this day at my house. Someone get Dee as a race car, please. <laughs> but before we head out, we caught up with Mr. Everett to share his thoughts on the end of the semester. Hey, good morning, Scorpion Country. Mr. Everett here. I get the opportunity to speak with you every Monday on the announcements, but today, as first semester is coming to an end, I wanted to uh, just take a minute or two talk with you here on your video announcement. So first, thank you very much, Mr. Bernal's class, uh, video broadcast. They do an awesome job. It's a privilege to be able to uh, be here with you today. Uh, just a quick recap. First semester has been a great semester. Starting our first day with uh, the rally uh, down at the stadium. All 2,000 of our Scorpions going down there, staff, students, everybody. It's a great way to start the, uh, start the school year. Fall sports did a great job this year with football and tennis, uh, volleyball. Amazing jobs, always representing Hesperia High School well. 
I don't know if you remember, but that, that whole key game thing, yeah, we kicked, uh, we kicked the Sultans back across town, back where they belong, representing that key, hanging in our gym for, this, uh, for the year. Uh, winter sports, all kinds of activities coming up here on campus. Uh, but last thing, before I go, I really wanted to talk with you a little bit about our school's focus, uh, the five C's. Collaboration, communication, critical thinking, creativity, and character. Um, I know that our students demonstrate these, uh, these skills, but the one that I want to focus on today is character. As we're finishing up first semester, uh, I want to make sure that every single day our students come to school, they're doing their best job to be good classmates, as well as good students in their classes with their teachers. Uh, there's nothing better that you can do than come every day prepared in your classes, uh, give your teachers your full attention, uh, no behavior problems in class, as well as being that great classmate uh, to your uh, fellow students in your rooms. I know that Scorpion Country here at Sparrow High School has the best students in the high desert and I want to make sure that every day we're doing our best to represent ourselves in that way. So again, it is a privilege and an honor to be the principal here at Sparrow High School. So thank you very much for everything you do to make this the best high school in the high desert. Thank you. Have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the final podcast. Yeah, I can't believe 2019 is actually over. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, we need to wish a very special and important Scorpion a happy birthday. Ah, uh, yes. How can we forget about him? We just wanted to wish Ms. Mr. McNair a very happy birthday. <laughs> Hope you have a great day, Mr. McNair. And if any of you see him around, make sure to wish him a happy birthday. All right. Can we sign off now? I got a paper to write. Yeah. I'm Ray Payno. And I'm Tansy Terry. Felice Lobby Dad on the way! <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to think of music video. Oh my gosh. White shirt, brown shirt, black blood. Do you know who's sleeping? Yeah, on you. Okay, um, this girl's really popular and she's like 17 and she's famous. I'm assuming this bad guy. No? Duh. It's about, a, it's about like a one-sided relationship. So one-sided relationship where this guy will do I will pay practically anything for the person he loves, but she won't to call him. Is it Bruno Mars? Mm -hmm. um, I'm so bad with talking. It's a lethal in Call of Duty. Grenade. Yep. Grenade. <laughs> She would like have to be care all the time. Oh. She sees the anaconda. She sees oh, the anaconda. You not. Yeah, okay, that's the artist. Um, the song. Um.